Good morning, boys and girls. I want to say hello to you and hope everybody is doing well this morning. We're going to teach you the Sunday school lesson that we can't teach you because we aren't actually, y'all aren't going to actually be here at church. So Mr. Mike is going to start by opening us up in prayer and then we're going to talk about what we're going to learn today. Uh, hi guys, we do miss you and look forward to seeing you again in the near future. But until then, we'll do our best through these videos. Uh, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our dear Father, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for the many wonderful blessings that you give us, Lord. We ask you to be with the, us in these uh, difficult times, Lord, where things are a little different and where I'll have to make some changes. Help us to be able to adapt to those changes, Lord, and to have your strength in us so we can make it through it. Be with us in the lesson today. Help us to take that lesson and apply it to our lives and grow closer to you. In the sweet name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. So our Bible lesson comes from John 4, 5 through 42. And I encourage you to get with your parents today and go through those, read those Bible scriptures. Uh, Jesus had been teaching and traveling when he came to the town of Samaria. It was about noon when Jesus got there and his disciples went on into the town to get some food. Jesus was probably hot and tired from all the traveling, so he stopped at a well where he could find him a drink. So about that time, a Samaritan woman came to the well. Now, usually women would come to the well early in the morning because those of you who go out in the summertime, you know, it gets really hot if you wait till later in the day. And they usually all came together and, you know, they kind of talked and laughed and the ones that had children would bring their children with them. But this lady came by herself. And um, the reason she came by herself is because other people didn't want to be with her. But um, they had to walk to a well. And what I want y'all to think about is, for us, it's easy to get water because we just go to the sink. Or, like Mr. Mike and I did, we go to the refrigerator and get a bottle of water, especially if you live in Butner. Um, that's what we do here. So, but they had to walk to, there's like one big well in the middle of town, and they had to walk to it with a big pot, and they would go and lower the pot in the well with a rope, and they'd fill it up with water and take it back home, and that water would last them all day long. So, just like we go to the sink or to the fridge, they had to go to the well. So like Miss Kim said, the Samaritan woman that was at the well at noon, though, she wasn't like the other women. She didn't have many friends. The other women would tease her and make fun of her and say unkind things about her, so she came later in the day. She'd made some mistakes in her life and done some wrong things, so she came to the well all alone. It must have made the Samaritan woman very sad. So when Jesus saw the woman there, he asked her for a drink. And she was really surprised because Jesus was a Jew. And Jews didn't talk to Samaritans. Because sometimes, and a lot of people are like that, they don't want to talk to somebody who's different, but maybe came from a different place, a different town, a different country. Um, and so Jews didn't like Samaritans. And so this woman was really surprised because Jesus was a Jew and he was talking to her. And he kept talking to her, and he said, you know, everybody who drinks this water from this well, it's just going to get thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water that I give them will never be thirsty again. And Jesus wasn't really talking about real water. What he was talking about was he was saying that his love was like a cool, refreshing cup of water. You know, we have our cool, refreshing cup of water. If I drink this water, do you think I'll ever be thirsty again and want some more? Yeah, probably will. But the water that Jesus is talking about, like Kim was saying, is his love, so it'll go on forever. I'm going to try a little bit of my water. Let me see. Nice, cold water. But Jesus is saying that his love would last forever. When we believe in Jesus, his promise of us having a life of God in heaven. And that's what he's talking about when he's saying that you'll never thirst again when you're with him in heaven. You'll never be thirsty again. That never ends. So think about, if you try to close your eyes and think about what it's like 
what would it be like if people didn't want to have you as a friend? So like say maybe um, when you go back to school and there's a group of people and you want to be their friend, but they don't want to be your friend. How, how do you think that would make you feel? I want you to think about that. And think about also about a time when maybe that did happen to you. Maybe there was a group of, of, of friends your age or people your age, and you wanted to be in that group, but they wouldn't let you in their little group. And think about how that might have made you feel if that's ever happened to you. So how does the love of our friends make us feel included in a group? That's something to think about. Sometimes we'll see a whole group of people and maybe we only know one person in that group, but that one person is a friend and they bring us into their group. How does it feel when you're included in a group? And I want you to think about how you might have felt Jesus' love and the, the way that he loves us and his love lasts forever. The Samaritan woman was all alone when she went to the well. She probably didn't have a friend in the world, but then she met Jesus. Jesus loves everyone. And Jesus promised her more than love and friendship. He offered her eternal life. So he made a difference in her life, and that was a big change. And we're about to find out what the Samaritan woman did with this uh, wonderful news that she had received. She went to the well, and now she was about to go out and tell. All right. So the Samaritan woman couldn't keep that good news to herself. The Bible tells us that she left her water jar there after she walked all the way out in a, on a very, very hot day. Um, when you think about how hot some of the days have been this week, think about walking and you didn't have a bottle of water. And it wasn't cool. It was hot. But she was so excited to meet Jesus and to find out that somebody would always love her that she just left her, her jar of water there and she hurried back to town and she went to tell everybody about Jesus. So think about what it might feel like to have people leave you out and then somebody tell you that they love you and they will always love you because that's what Jesus did. So one of our activities, or our main activity that we're going to do today, and we'll put pictures up, and hopefully um, somebody will be able to print that out for you, and if not, maybe you can work on um, an iPad or something. But our My Bible Fun page will have a picture of a well. And on that well, what I want you to do is write the name of some people that you can share the love of Jesus with. Um, that'll be on the front side, and you'll see that posted on the side. And then on the back side, we have what we've learned today. And our main theme of what we learned today is that Jesus loves everyone. And I want y'all to remember that. Some days you don't feel good. You don't feel like anybody loves you. Maybe you do something wrong and your parents have to punish you when you just kind of feel unloved. That happened to me when I was a kid. I got my share of punishment when I was a kid. And I know Mr. Mike did too. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when your parents punish you or maybe when you get in a fight with a friend, you feel like nobody loves you. But I want you to know Jesus loves everyone. He loves you and he'll never stop, never stop loving you. So... One of the things I want you to think about this week is we have some of our um, things to do. We can gather drinking glasses for all your family members and a pitcher of water and a bowl of ice cubes and tongs and take your Bible and then talk about how Jesus asked the Samaritan woman for a drink of water and read John 4, 9 and 10. So that's one of the things you can do this week, and the rest of that activity will be on your My Fun page. Um, also, another thing you can think about this week is surprising love, because the woman at the well was surprised that somebody could love her, even though she had done some bad things in her past. So each night before dinner, what you can do this week is secretly slip a little paper heart under somebody's plate. 
maybe before supper starts. And then after supper, the person who finds the heart under his or her plate can share something that she has found special or he has found special about Jesus. So maybe a family member might say that they have found peace because of Jesus or happiness or love. So that's something else you can do this week. And some other daily challenges is maybe tell somebody who is sad or lonely about Jesus and how much he loves everybody. Make a list of all the people you know that don't know Jesus yet, maybe on the front side of your My Phone page um, where we have a picture of the well. You can do that. And then pray for those people who don't know Jesus. And then ask your family when you're all together um, some ways that they have experienced Jesus' love. Is there anything you would like to add, Mr. Mike? I think you got it all. I just uh, look forward to the day we can meet again soon. All right. And remember, Jesus loves everyone, and we love y'all too. And Mr. Mike is going to close us in prayer. Let's pray. I didn't Father, we thank you for your word today. We thank you for how you sent your love down to us. That not only did you have love for that woman at the well, but you have it for each and every one of us. Please uh, be of our pastor, Lord. Be of Pastor Blaine and Pastor Charlie. And be of us all as a church and help us in this time of separation that will still grow as a church family as we're apart. And we'll look forward to the day we can meet again. Please be of all our police officers and the people working in the hospitals and all the things that are going on and watch over that. And uh, be of us and keep us safe. In the sweet name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye. See y'all next week.